Yo, what is up everybody? I'm the one and only Goblin Carney, and we're back with Bigfoot. Um, although this time I'm playing it alone because, um, well, I thought it could be a really fun experience, and by fun I mean absolutely terrifying. So, I'm really not sure what order I've released these in, but we... Normally, every time I've played this, it's been with me and the rest of the gang, so I really thought I'd try my hand at it solo. And I definitely do know this game a little bit by now, but the one thing that this game always seems to do is surprise the crap out of me. Oh my gosh, yeah. So, I've said it before in other videos, I'm not used to... I'm not used to horror games. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm really not. Like, I've played a lot of them with friends before. You know, sitting in the same room, us huddled over each other, that kind of thing. But not like this. Not like this. And that's something that I've always wanted to do. And this is why recording... Deciding to do this is such a great experience for me because it forces me to do things like this Forces me to do things I really don't want to do Hmm, you know, I really underestimated how terrifying this was oh, I hear something I swear like there are footsteps and I also know there's really no point in me being quiet because I know you can innocence hide from him, but he's just beeline for me before, you know, it doesn't matter. I don't really have a backup plan if it all goes south either. I really need to be looking throughout this and throughout this entire village for stuff right now. But I honestly am just too terrified to go outside that. I am. I, I don't know what's going on. I thought I'd be able to load this up and just do it, but my god. I'm literally stopping, stop, stop talking and listening like every little, every little thing inside the game. Yeah, this is going to be a fun ride. I, I'm going to have to start doing a lot of horror games. Another thing is, I, I've read on some places that apparently he's supposed to not come out on day one. And we have proven that he can come out on day one and just mess stuff up. Even when I'm being quiet like this, so I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. It's just now 10 p.m. I hate this. And my camera's laggy with this game too, so... Yay. Hopefully eventually, sometime very soon, we're going to get that taken care of. And we'll have a lot less lag in these recordings. <sighs> Screw it. You know, we got to do something. We just can't hide in this house all night. Mm. 
I don't know what I want to do. Because I could go with the flare route. Yeah, screw it. Hello. We're just gonna beeline it. There's probably nothing out there. I'm probably just being a big old scaredy baby right now. But that's okay. I'm just being cautious. It doesn't help that there's wolves always off in the distance. Like, what the crap is that about? I was like, hey, let's play uh, the Bigfoot game. And all it is is just goblin carning, hiding in a house until daytime. That's pretty much what this is. So jumpy right now at every sound. It's like that. I really underestimated how big of a scaredy cat I actually am at games like this. I swear. I know you can't hear it. But I swear I heard like. Is that daytime coming up? I think it is. I swear I could hear like music off in the distance, like his music, like the. <sighs> See, now it's getting daytime. I'm not nearly as scared. This is going to be a horrible experience. But... I know I think he could technically still come out. He doesn't really run away till like 6 o'clock. But still enough time. I think I can hold him off from this point to like six o'clock. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeesh. Yeesh. I really underestimated this game. I've really underestimated my ability to provide you with excellent content when it comes to horror games because it's gonna be really hard for me not to just make this all about me just hiding in a corner. Because I think that's really what this is going to turn out to be. I 
I don't want to run from building to building either. I know what my plan is though. My plan is to stock up here. And then we're going to run to the fire tower. Hopefully, we can find one of the codes to get one of the better guns. And then we're just going to try to do it. I mean, I already got this one. So, much rather would have preferred a shotgun. But I know that's not how this works. I think I need to be checking over my shoulder, even though the feeling is totally still here. I feel like I need to be closing every door behind me. I feel like I need to be checking every corner. I feel like I need to be extremely quiet. It's just not a good time. I cannot spend all day looking here because once it comes nighttime I'm screwed. Ah, I can't get this. Well at least I know where one is. I'll take it. I mean it's it's a gas canister. It's good. It's I like gas canisters. Okay, that's good. If I can get a car battery now, I think that's all the big explosive thingsies I can get. The explosive thingsies. Alright. Yeesh. Not that a totem's really going to help you in solo mode. I don't know how that works, you know? I'm surprised they even still, uh... Just stop that. See, that's what I was trying to say earlier. It's like, he does the knocks, and I know a lot of the time that's ambience. And not him actually setting up a trap. Wow, that was some perfect timing. Um... Yeah, so now I don't really know what to say because I was going to say that I don't know when that's actually him setting up a trap and when that's just ambience. This is getting ridiculous. There he is! Why are you just taking a stroll? What the heck's going on? Maybe that really was him setting up traps or something. I don't know where he went. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Can't just go running after him. That's how we get killed. Okay, I'll take that. Um, so there is a code around here somewhere. I don't remember where the safe is. Is the safe in the fire tower? I think it is. That's not a good sign. I 
I wish I'd find it. I'm not really sure where all the places are for it. Also, not certain at what time. Oh my gosh, it's gonna become nighttime any second. Yeah, I can't be here. Yeah, this is gonna suck. We just wasted a whole night. This is not good. Like, in fact, this is like the opposite of good. I don't remember where to find the rest of that code at. So I think tonight we're just going to be playing roulette. I mean, I could try to shoot him a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to try to damage him a little bit. Yeah, we're just going to be playing Roulette tonight, I guess. Get in the traps, shoot them, and... No bueno. I know he's going to show up, and I kind of don't want him to. Is he out there killing a pig or something? So he's going to get caught in the trap. There, yeah, right, is that him? Yep, 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 yep. He's right under us. Oh my god, he's right there. What is he doing? Oh, here he comes. This is so much worse by yourself. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so scary. Why is this so scary?
Normally he comes up through there. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. It doesn't look like it, but this is absolutely terrifying right now. repeat let's go Whew. did that even hit him I don't even know I mean I know we're doing damage to him but that's not much it's not nearly as much as I wanted to do yeah that's not good Oh my gosh, it's not even one o'clock yet. This is not good. I'm hearing stuff. Oh, I don't like this one bit. Kind of want to go back up, but I don't know if he's going to be like in the tower. Keep hearing stuff move all around me. Oh my god, he's down there. What? gonna zip back up since I saw him down there I'm gonna place another trap I'm gonna use this little guy Just load into him if he gets up. God, we didn't do anything to him. I really don't know what our next course of action should be. I really don't know. I know we could get the sniper rifle probably pretty easy, but that's still a ways away, I think. I don't even remember where it is. I'm going to wait until 5 o'clock, because I know he can still attack us. If he did right now, that'd be good, because we can hurt him a little bit. Well... I 
I like this spot because I like this spot because of the zip line, as you saw. It's just too convenient. <sighs> I think his cave, one of his caves is nearby, I know it is. I just don't know if he like actually uses them. You know, that's kind of like what I was saying earlier. I don't really know what is just ambience and what the what he actually can use. Or she. We don't know. Or it. I don't, I don't know. Please don't break your neck. Okay, good. But we see him wandering around here all the time, and I know there's a cave nearby. That's actually where we're going, because I think you can find the code in there. I mean, if he's in here, we'll just light him up. Never found the code in here, just saying. I don't even know if I can, like, use this. No, I've never fought him in any of his caves before, so I really don't know. Yeah, I have no idea where the other... Is that the code? <gasps> yes! 1928. Okay, 1928, 1928, 1928. Alright. So, my plan is to get the code, get the better gun, and just do the same thing we did last night, but just lay into him. Is kind of the gist. All right, it's still ten o'clock, and then the next morning we'll head to the other village. I'm just trying to scrounge around a little bit while we still got some daylight. I don't want to trek all the way down to the other village yet because it's like down in the bottom. I don't know exactly how far. It is. It's been a minute. But I can at least look here. Jesus! Look, this is stupid. All you wolves and bears need to just bugger off. Glad their aggro range isn't nearly as big as it should be. Oh my gosh! Normally, when I'm playing with the rest of the group, we hardly ever get into his traps until like way later in the nights. And I've already stepped in, like, what, three? Hello, plane. Yes, I'm still alive. For the longest time, I thought that was totally, like, an airdrop or something you could use the flare gun for. Oh, well, speaking of flare gun. And a bear trap. That's useful. I'm trying to remember. 1928, 1928. I wonder if I can actually use this for something. Yikes. That is not what I wanted to do. Alright. Yeah, there it is. I mean, this just gets so dark in this game so quick. That's the other zip line. That's not the one we technically need. Finding a lot of shotgun ammo, but yet no shotgun.
think I'm going to go just hard on him tonight, as hard as we possibly can. Because, I mean, we're going to have to book it for the village. And I don't like doing villages. They're so unpredictable. And even hiding from him... It, he can still just beeline. And I don't understand why he can. I just don't get that. It's like he just... Bypasses the physics of it. Yeah, we only got one explosive. I don't even have the gun yet. What the heck am I doing? 1928, 1928, 1928. 1928. Which one is this? Okay, thank gosh. It is the one I was hoping it was. I also think our character gets slightly better damage with heavier guns like this. I'm gonna make sure we can get out of this. He comes in, pop, fireworks go off. He catches on fire. We blast him a good little bit and then we run up here, making sure we get out of here. That's the plan. I'm not setting meat in any of these traps because I know he's probably just gonna come up around the corner any second. But the longer I can keep him throughout the night, that's fine, because he's not healing up at any point. I mean, he's already as max as he can get. So, my strategy is just kind of wait. And when he comes, he comes. I mean, I could just no flashlight it, but I just, I'm a pansy, and I kind of want to leave my flashlight out, to be completely honest with you. I've never actually used this gun. Normally, I give it off to... Ooh, excuse me. One of the other teammates, but... Hey, since it's only me this time, I, guess I get to use it. Oh my gosh, yeah, I can't do that. I can't. Yeesh. Every time I hear an animal like that, I think it's because... God, he must be close. Yeah, but every time I hear like a pig or a wolf or something squeal, I think it's like an indication that he's nearby and they're like startled by him. If I had to guess. Here he comes. Oh, that does some damage. Yes, those traps do damage too. Ooh. Ooh, I'd love to see damage. Not on me. On him. Let's be perfectly clear about that. I don't got any more explosives. So at this point, it's traps and zip lines and guns. Trap, zip lines, guns. Trap, zip line, guns. Trap, zipline guns, trap, zipline guns. Where are you? Still early in the night. Don't tell me you already pansied out. I'm the only pansy. You can't take that title. I will hold on to that title. <clears throat> I hate one. I really do hate when he does this. I mean, I could go up. But what if he's there, you know? Like, what if he's actually up there? What was that?
God, I don't like this. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit getting used to recording these kind of videos. Did he just eat something? I don't even know what's going on. Gosh, this is so scary. I'm trying not to like ignore and not pay attention. You know, this is hard like I'm honestly a little bit panicking all right bugaboo let's go again all right come on God. Yes, it is hard for me to talk and not be panicking. I am I, I'm annoyed by my own voice right now because I feel like I cannot hear what is going on if I talk. I'm so scared that he's gonna break that zip line. Once that happens, it's all over for us. We're still holding on to a decent amount of traps, which I'm very impressed with. I don't know why he didn't get caught on that one, which I'm kind of sad about. getting them though we're getting them though we're getting them though do i even need to go to the village at this point i should yes we're gonna need to go to the village in the morning i don't remember where it is maybe it's that bottom one i'm gonna risk it and just take it all right we still got a little bit of time left we're gonna run out of ammo soon with this gun and that's not good Are you going to come out again one more time? Hello?
giving it till 5.30 and then we're booking it. I don't care. There's a village this way. What is going on? All of you go. But I think that zip line. Yeah, six o'clock. Six o'clock is when he officially like rawr, calls it out. You know, it's like okay, because if I, I would much rather. Go to the village, get out of the village, and go back up to the tower. <clears throat> That's what I would really like to do. But I don't know how long it's going to take us. We really need to get some more ammo. And God, I need to get a new camera at some point. This is just not working. So I'm sorry for the laggy quality and all that, but I promise to you at some point it will get better. It irks me. It really does. You know, I, I'm one of those people who, if uh, you're watching something dubbed, especially and the mouths are off just a little bit, it just, it just gets to me. So, I mean, this, this kind of quality is really throwing me off. So my thing is, if I actually have four of those on solo player, can I just revive um, automatically? I don't think that's how it works. All right. So it took us about an hour and a half to get to the village. He comes out, what, let's say 5 o'clock just to be safe. Unless it's 6 to 6. Oh, come on! I usually miss these. Well, we're, we're good on health. I need ammo. There's the safe for the other gun. I'm not too worried about that right now. Because we found, in my opinion, probably the better gun. The sniper rifle's really good, but with what we're doing, I don't need that. I don't. I just don't need that. Definitely don't need that. If we just find the code laying around, we'll get the rifle. Because you never know. Because he is going to try to wander off at some point. We can't have that. I don't really need night vision cameras. I'm not just looting everything. Still, there's the shotgun. We are just running around like a madman. <sighs> just trying to get something. An explosive would really help. This ammo is helping. You know, it's not the best. What I really want is like a car battery or another gasoline canister, something. We definitely don't want to run out of traps, so if we could find more traps, that'd be nice. Uh, look, look, phone, you can just bugger off, please. Yeah, this village had nothing compared to what it usually has. There's like traps and all sorts of crap around here, usually. I didn't even see the code. I don't know if you guys saw the code. I sure as heck didn't see the code. Anything in here? New. No. Oh my god. Why is there nothing here? Why is there nothing? We gotta get going. Oh my gosh. I was hoping for so much more. There's the zip line here though. That is something. It's not good enough. 
I mean, we could almost stay here, but it's just not the same. We still got four traps. I don't have any explosives, though. That makes me really sad. We're just going to have to trap him up, is what's going to happen. This game should not be this stressful, but it is. I'm just trying to find anything that could deal a decent amount of extra damage. What was that? Was that him killing something and eating it? I don't know. I'm assuming that was a pig, but I'm not turning around to look and find out. So it's six o'clock, six to six. We're just gonna trap it up, I suppose. Surprise we kept all of these traps. Like the fact that we were able to keep all these traps is seriously an amazing feat. I know this is definitely not the most exciting, and I really hope we can do enough damage to him. We're going to put meat there, because I actually kind of want him to show up sooner than later. I just really wish we could have found another explosive. So I know where one is, and it's back at the original village. We found that other gas canister. If we don't do enough damage to him tonight, I might run back there and get it. That would be the only thing we'd get, though, because there's nothing else in that village, I don't think. So shoot him, shoot him, then just run up here. We know he's going to get caught on this one, hopefully. Pretty sure headshots count as extra. I don't know, it's a very lather, rinse, repeat kind of game, you know? Apparently, if you have a lot of people, I mean, I've seen the, where people can finish the game in like 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, I gotta play more horror games, because this... I don't even know if you classify this as a horror game. I kind of do. I'm doing that, because I don't care. I want it back. I want it back. You're going to have to come for me and go around the hard way for a trap. Where you be? No pansying out this early. Come on. I will give a warning shot so you know where I'm at. Seriously. Mm -hmm. 
that you? Alright, I'm going back up. Screw it. If you're up there, screw me, I guess. I think he's out there hunting. I think he caught on. Still a lot of damage. He's probably going to back off real soon. <laughs> Haven't figured out exactly when he backs off as far as like him having health though. But I know it should be soon. If not already. Where you at? Come on, don't tell me you already pansied off. Seriously. I can't have you pansying off right now. I seriously cannot. Look how close you are. traps. <sighs> I almost didn't know how to do this. I saw him. Come on, don't pansy off, seriously. Come on. Let's do this. Right near, right now. I think I can do it. I think we can do it. I hope you guys have faith in me. Me and my laggy self. Come on, Bigfoot. Don't be a coward. Come on. Go. Come on. Yes! The trap got him. The trap actually got him. I've never seen that happen. Okay. Um. We did it. Okay. Won't lie, that was very stressful.
Um, it really is one of those games where you start off really scared because you have nothing and he's at full health and then as the game progressively goes on you're still like really scared the whole way and then eventually you know you get to that lower where you think oh i can actually do this i got better guns you know he's at lower health but you know, it's always there that you could die at any minute and i don't know i've noticed that taking an aggro approach really does seem to work on him especially when we're in a team and we just gang up on him and like say screw our health we're just gonna come after you it really does seem to work so i really don't know if it you know if that is the case and that's one of the better ways to do it is just be very aggressive or you know just play stealthy and passively until you can build up a base and then attack him i i really don't know but um honestly thought i was gonna die this first time around and just take a few times to do it by myself but that was on the easiest difficulty you know him with the lowest health and me with the uh highest amount of loot and damage i can output so i mean it's something it's a start so yeah as i said i definitely got to play more horror games and um I definitely got to get better at playing horror games. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to be playing some more Bigfoot. Definitely going to try to get the, more, the gang back into it and um, playing a little bit on the harder difficulties and on the different maps to really kind of test our limits. Because, as I said, when I created this channel, I really wanted to play it with other people. You know, have a lot of uh, segments where we're playing with other people. But you're definitely going to see a lot more horror games and uh, a lot more Bigfoot in the future. So... Hope you guys like this. Uh, hope you guys like the content. Um, I know it's laggy at the current moment, but it will get better, I promise. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you do, please like, subscribe. It really does help me out. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good night.